hello everyone I hope that uh, you have a good day today uh, I'm going to show you how to create a simple C++ okay, uh, application so let me uh, get started okay, so I'm going to move my mouse pointer to my lower left hand corner then I'm going to click the Windows icon okay, which is the start icon okay, and then from the pop-up menu okay, I'm going to select the all programs and then okay, uh, let me try it again then from the pop-up menu, okay, I'm going to click the drag the scroll bar uh, until I see the Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 Express Edition. Okay, if you are using uh, a different edition, okay, or some newer version of the software is totally fine. Okay, so let me select the Microsoft Visual Studio Studio 2012 Express Edition, and then let me pick the uh, Visual Studio okay, Express for desktop. I'm going to click Run. Okay, and the software has loaded. The first page you uh, see right now is the start page. Okay, so I'm going to click uh, select the uh, new project. Okay, and then the new project window showed up. Uh, make sure that okay, uh, you select the Visual C++ okay, uh, language. Okay, and then uh, in the middle, okay, uh, make sure that. Uh, the Win32 console application is selected and then at the button okay, you, if you want to change the application name you can change it now and similarly you can change the location if you want to okay but then I'm going to use the default okay I'm going to use the default okay then I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to uh, uh, leave it as it, is, as it is under the overview okay and then I'm going to click the next button and then uh, under the application settings okay, uh, I'm going to select the empty project okay, empty project okay, and then remove the security development uh, life cycle uh, option okay, and then click finish so the software will create the required folders okay, however I hadn't added any source code into it yet okay, so make sure that you select the console application okay, uh, name again and then go to the project and then add new item okay, add new item okay and then uh, make sure you pick the C++ okay, file uh, if you want to change the uh, source code file you can change it okay, otherwise you can use the default the default is source.cpp I will use the default then I'm going to click okay, add and then now I can type uh, source code okay, into the uh, file. So start with pound sign include IO. You can see okay, once I type okay, some characters in there, the autocomplete feature will show up. And then this one is the one, okay, IOSTREAM is the one I'm going to select. So I just use the down arrow key okay, uh, to highlight that item. Then I can use the tab key. Okay, uh, to fill in the rest of the characters okay there you go then I'm going to type one more using there you go is there namespace okay, there you go and std okay if you feel that uh, the font size is too small you can use the control key press the control key and then roll the wither on your uh, mouse get okay, forward then you can increase the font size okay there you go then I'm going to type int man okay a pair of parentheses okay and then a pair of curly braces okay and then i'm going to type uh, a very simple hello word okay uh, statement okay hello word okay and then uh, there you go and then return zero and then i'm going to run the program okay you can go to uh, debug over the menu bar okay select the debug and then pick start without debugging okay and click yes so it will compile the code it will run the code and it will generate the output okay hello world all right have a good time okay that will be all